to Mr. Mr. Hankel, you you brought a. Um, objection to the court against the billions that have been promised as help. But does that mean that you feel that these efforts are bound to fail? Well, um, if I can speak in German to you, I come from a country uh, which is still suffering from the tragic mistake of seeing a government trying to make public savings and pay back debts. That was the government before Hitler came to power in Germany. And we have seen since this disaster that it makes a big difference whether an economy saves if it saves, it needs to cut uh, expenditure uh, income. That might do a great deal for its credit as a debtor. But it doesn't really affect its capacity to be able to pay its debts back. And like my neighbor on my left, I believe that the efforts to make a bailout fund are resting on a fundamentally wrong assumption which will lead economies into deeper trouble. All of the debts which have been taken out up until now, and there are many of them, um, not only will they not be able to pay back, but we will also see the end of the euro. Well, your criticism uh, is, has been very severe. You've called the euro a living corpse. Well, my criticism is not only one of a German economist, but that of a Democrat. A country is made up, if it wants to help its citizens, of two parts. It has a budget and it has its currency, and it has to use both of those to create as much prosperity in its uh, economy as it can. And if you take one of these parts away, one of these legs which an economy stands on, then the other won't work. And we can see that this leaves a state in a capacity, uh, with an incapacity to help itself because the currency is European and the budget is national. The European currency obeys the laws of 17 states with different objectives. And what most terrifies me is that two-thirds of these states are actually bankrupt. So it's doomed to failure. So. I want to see budget and currency being put back together again. That can't be done in the monetary union. Hankel, just to conclude before we open the discussion, what's your assessment of the situation in Switzerland? Well, it should stay what it is. It is uh, evidence that Europe can work without a common currency even without a commonly regulated market. Politicians always say that size is some kind of decisive category. What's decisive is competitivity, creativity, and stability. Size doesn't have anything to do with it. And the uh, whole background to the crisis uh, and uh, globalization, etc., has shown that small currencies can always survive if they have internal stability. Internal stability is key in a globalized world as well. And the question that we have to answer in Europe is to what extent is the EU and the Euro creating stability. And I would have two questions here, because the transferring of sovereignty and surveillance means a weakening of national democracy, and that is something that we in Europe rely on. I'm Mark Lucy. I live in Davos and Zurich. Question to Mr. Hankel.